So yes, it is that time of the year again. It's cold, it's snowy, there's frost everywhere. Uh, as I speak, it is minus three degrees Celsius, which is not that bad, okay. But um, the point of this video, as usual, is insects. So I'm gonna show you how my overwintering insects over, uh, that overwinter survive such conditions. This is my setup against the most cold days in winter. Here I have a trash bag filled with trash. Under this we see a box covered with a towel. <clears throat> Here we have a cardboard box. Inside this cardboard box is another cardboard box. And inside this cardboard box we have my plastic container. And this co contains all the eggs and cocoons of my insects. And now believe me when I say they are well isolated in here. And I do not fear them freezing to death. That rarely ever happens. Um, typically, even in the wild, they can resist temperatures of minus 10 degrees Celsius or more. And in a setup like this, they are very well protected. Do not underestimate the ability of insects to, to face harsh winters, okay? Especially in the cocoon or egg phase. But it is only if they naturally overwinter, of course. You don't want to try this with any tropical species, but um, it's completely fine if they are a uh, species from, uh, from the Palearctic, North America, Europe, uh, many parts of Palearctic Asia, like China, Taiwan, Japan, even parts of Central America and Mexico. Which is warmer than uh, the other places I mentioned, but they still have frost and cold. <sighs> and now for some nice imagery, I guess. Huh. Some of you, my viewers, they are from tropical places like uh, Indonesia or Thailand. I don't know if they've ever seen snow, but. It looks fun on camera, I can tell you, but it's horrible crap. If you need to work and travel every day. Although it's nice to look at when you're sitting in your home with a warm cup of tea and looking out of the window. But um, I detest having to travel through this to my work every day. Oh yeah, and by the way, Cambodia countdown is eight days. I'm almost leaving in one week. Bye.